Yo, what's up? What's up, team? It's kind of like a whatever makeup day for me, so don't judge me. I should put something on these lips because they look a crusty, dusty, dry. Hold up, hold up. Okay, I just put a little color on my lips. It didn't do that much. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, and I also bet like $5 million that Adam's outside. I bet you $5 million. Okay? We'll see about that. Tesco is not open. Me and Gabby tried to get ice cream and scam the guy in the corner and be like, yeah, um, your ice cream is too expensive. We're going to Tesco. He knew Tesco was closed, and he let us go to Tesco, and we got scammed either way. Either way, we got scammed, so it didn't matter. We tried to scam, and we got scammed. Between two and three there. No, they're closed. Okay. Okay, let's just see if Adam's out here, y'all. Let's see. Okay, let's check if the if the horse is there. If the horse is there, we're in trouble, y'all. Oh, I don't see a horse. I don't see a horse. That means his cohort is not here. Is today a holy day of some sort? Because there's no men outside. Usually there's about five people asking about the Tasky. Tasky. Tasky taxi. What what's going on? Gabby got a little bit got. Gabby got slight got. But we're not and not for Adam to not Adam right now. See, see, Adam knows it's the cohort. I think it's just a, a day of ho a holiness right now, so we lucked out. I lost five million dollars because Adam wasn't outside, even though that man was like, Adam's right around the corner. It's Friday. Oh, not getting yeah. as harassed, scammed at all, and it's actually kind of nice. I feel like I can explore freely. This, this is normally like five or ten if people are trying to jip you, but we got it for two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, two pounds. Oh, they're just all, right, all these little kids making diplomatic decisions about life back there. All, all these children are independent as hell. Like. And I and like every every kid has a dollar and a bag. Tell y'all, independent weekly meal. <laughs> Yo, Yo. No. Oh my god! I thought that was a person. I can't. But we got some grapes, limes to wash the grapes, and some dates behind the dude. There's some dates. There's the dates right there on top. Like there's not that many women outside. The only women are really like children. I've probably seen like ten women this whole time. Y'all, I'm gonna teach my child to be independent at age two. I can't. They are not going to be spoiled, y'all. Because these kids are out here buying food for the whole family. Y'all, that's the bus that we took. I took and I went upstairs. I took an hour nap. I like refreshed my life. I didn't refresh it all the way, but I refreshed it. Tell me why these two people were on their phone the whole time. Well, actually, now we're looking for our friend Adam. This okay, is the time we actually need him. Adam's here. We need Adam to be here, and if he's not, that means he's scammed. Does. His horse is gone. Oh, there's Adam. He's here, y'all. He's here. It's Adam and his broski. Oh, come. He said, come on, y'all. Go to Saluka. Yeah. No good when the people touch you. This you make me happy. It make, make us very, very sad, you know? Very bad. Yeah. Very bad. Yeah. Yeah. I want you when you walk to when you walk when you walk in my country. Yeah. I like it. You spend time very good because you know why? Why? You check this. You check everything. Walking like it free, like it your country like it free time. This is called okay. live or die. Can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> We're on the Nile River. Oh yeah, I don't know why I feel good. We are going to sail the Nile River and go to Crocodile Island. Hopefully the smile of Crocodile there. And also Banana Island. And this is my little friend Abdul and that's Mohammed. We have to look at Mudfish. We're hanging out on the Nile River. I'm like in full relaxation mode. <laughs> um, and we just ate a whole bunch of bananas from a banana plantation, which is really cool. Saw a couple of like local animals and you know, kind of just enjoying the time. I, I, I totally understand why the pharaohs, like king, queens and kings were like taking both places. I don't blame them at all. The so River. nice. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Adam was a scammer from day one. We got scammed, okay? We want to believe in Egypt. We want to believe in the truth. We want to believe in the goodness and kindness of people. I care of you because we're family. You want to know why? Because people in Egypt, people think they, they scam you, they cheat you, they're more expensive in the hotel. But how are you going to charge the same price of the damn hotel, Adam? Homeboy took us to this Faluka ride. It's his cousin's boat. You know, we go through an alley, as you see. 
I, for some reason, I thought we was gonna get mugged for two seconds, but I was like, no, okay, cool, it's the boat, the boat's there. You know, we go on the ride, it's some random big guy, you know, on the boat, starts the boat, two kids get on the boat, and then like the big guy leaves the boat, and some random guy gets on the boat with a cigarette, and you're just like, who are you? Who are these people, you know? Go to this banana, this island called Banana Island. Mind you, it's a plantation with like, random goats and things which is fine you know it's fine like I mean it's not really fine because you had like jackals in a cage and like a crocodile that you're trying to poke with sugar cane to make it move but that's besides the point you know we got our bananas okay you know Adam comes back and he's like pointing to his cousin like pay him and we're like oh okay you know pay you the money so it was supposed to be 160 for the Faluka ride I thought it was two islands to be honest first of all time out wasn't it supposed to be two islands because it was crocodile island and banana island why we only get one island but still have to pay the full price someone tell me that but why would you say crocodile island and banana island trying to make it sound like it's two different things was that boat ride two hours I don't know because I feel like we were going back and forth and staying still a couple times <laughs> I don't know you know it was still beautiful though I'm not gonna hate I'm, it was a beautiful ride anyway we start following Adam again and then he gets into this weird verbal exchange with his cousin and then we're kind of feeling uncomfortable like was that not enough was that okay and then Adam walks hella paces ahead of us and then he's like oh you enjoyed the ride and we're like oh okay everything's okay yeah we did this entire time he's talking about family I do for you you do for me people don't like to come to Egypt because they think they're gonna get scammed people aren't supposed to touch you this that and the fourth X Y and Z I take care of you like you're my family we get this like speech many times as you see in the video shows us one place with belly dancing because we're like oh we want someone with males and females to be in there just mixed around because it's very male dominated the first place was okay not the best go down to the second place second place is cool or whatever belly doesn't sing doesn't start till midnight and we have a flight to catch at 4 a.m. so we're like ah nah never mind you know Adam's like you know what guys it's all good don't worry about it I got you let's go home and we're like okay hey, cool 300 pounds is good because that's like a good amount we paid basically double that for our Egyptologist yesterday who like stayed up with us the whole day air-conditioned vehicle explained A to Z about all the information about everything um, that we needed to know about Egypt like immersed us in history which is amazing and then we were like let's give him half that because we only spent half the time and like we didn't get the same amount of customers like he got good customer service I guess until the damn end and at the end he's talking about we give him the money he opens it up counts it that's when we knew the problem was that he looked at us like that's it like he basically was like he said that's it because I did this I did this I did this 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 and then Gabby's like well how much were you expecting and he's like 500 Mind you, he's talking about don't book things with hotels because they're expensive. Mind you, when you calculate 500 back to US dollars, that's the exact same amount we paid for the Egyptologist tour. So, I don't know, we got scammed, y'all. And then, like, Gabby basically pulled out her wallet. Is like, this is only how much I have left for my entire trip in Egypt. And he was like, give me that too. <laughs> Just a tip. This is the tip from all of this. From your heart. Get you your own you. tour guide that's a professional Egyptologist and pay the amount and you can haggle it down maybe 10 US dollars. You know, 10, 15 US dollars max. That's fine. You try to get that street hookup, no. it's going to start low. It's no. going to start low and then it's going to be higher and you're not going to get the same quality. So don't yeah. do it. Just just get the real thing. Just don't do it. Bottom line. Bottom line.